class that other people think is junk, uh, I think is beautiful. Well, people today think it's easy to be a rubbish man. But to me and a lot of people in the business, it's being a doctor of garbology. The trash must go through. That's my motto because we have no holidays. I myself work Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, because the rubbish has to go. You leave it set one day, that's one day's more rubbish you're gonna have to pick up off the ground. I'm an independent rubbish man. I do not work for the city. I'm not franchised out to anybody. And I run my company the way I feel it's sufficient. I'm an air pollution inspector. My job is to uncover sources of air pollution, control it where possible, and eliminate it if I can. And that's a big job. That's why I like it. Well, I came from a rural town in Texas. The air smelled like pine needles. There's a lot of pine trees in my part of Texas. And I miss the smell quite a bit. I miss the smells of spring, the smells of autumn, as well as the smells of summer. And I would imagine the children all born here, they don't miss it because they never had it. Bottles is my business. You know, years before uh, ecology became the thing to do, I was recycling bottles, not because uh, we was looking for any glory. To me, it was just the thing to do to keep garbage from piling up. A few years ago, people used to laugh at me when I told them that I made new bottles out of old bottles. But they don't laugh at me anymore. Sometimes a trash bin will weigh only a thousand pounds, up to a ton sometimes. It's like a challenge, because you have to learn how to lift something in order not to damage your body. It's better training than going out on the football field and training with the players. So many of my relatives are in the rubbish business it's actually hard to just pick them all up at one time and think about it. My grandfather, back uh, when he first came to this country, he started up in the rubbish business with just a horse and buggy. And then my uncles did the same thing. Eventually, it was just handed down when my father got out of the service. He went into the rubbish business because this was his idea and this is what he knew. Ever since I was able to walk and talk, I always wanted to get out there and do what he was doing. I just loved to get out there and work. All the rubbish men are like one big group. And like you can go to every rubbish company you can find and they'll help you. Because they really stick together. They do. I always call you and tell you. Like when he broke they come right by and get it, see. Okay. 
I'll take care of it. You get it set up for me, and we'll we got I'll a deal. Set up for you. Okay, because I'll take the contract along with this one. Okay? Okay, I'll do that. All righty. All right. Have a nice day now. Okay, take care, huh? I have to. All right. I go to smoke school to train my eyes to look at smoke to tell whether it's violating the law or not. Until you get the hang of it, smoke just looks like smoke. That's why the smoke school test is so tough. When I want you to record on your paper, I'll ring the bell. Begin reading right now. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Passing smoke school means I can testify in court against polluters. But I gotta catch them first. Stack cleaners take samplings from the smokestacks so they can be later analyzed in the laboratory. This helps the company that's guilty to change its processes so it can stop polluting. around the furnaces, uh, they kind of scared me. Uh, I thought maybe one false move and I'd be made into a bottle. <laughs> After being around the furnaces for so many years, uh, I feel right at home around them. If you're working around furnaces, you become part of that furnace. They're like children to you. You look at them, you take care of them, you cuddle them. Well, actually, there's more truth than that in poetry, too. <laughs> The kids got together, including my own, decided to clean up the neighborhood. I came along to watch things and help them out any way I could.
I take the broken bottles and deliver them to the furnaces. When the glass is just the right temperature, I give it to the machines. And when the machines take over, that's sort of like the 4th of July. I made over a million bottles today. It was one of our slower days, but uh, it's not bad. When it's a good day and everything's going right for you out there, you seem to pick up the rhythm and you're on top of the world. big apartments, the trash bins get so full, I have to get up there and jump on them, reload them, and get the janitors to give me a hand pushing them out. People are just throwing useful things in the trash bin and just forgetting about them. And that's pollution. and I can learn a lot about people by just their trash they dispose of. Like material and stuff they didn't use, food they didn't eat, they just dispose of it and they don't give it a second thought. It just breaks my heart to see what people throw away. Every day I find something new, something very curious and interesting. made the bottles, but uh, we have kind of like to feel that we made them ourselves. I get uh, kind of a kick, pick up the bottles and take a look on the bottom to see if that's one of them that I made. Go along and take a look and tip it over to see if old plant 23 is on the bottom. <laughs> I look up for myself as being more of a salesman than a cop, really. You really do a good job. Right on the money. I'm trying to sell an idea of 
let's do something about the pollution in our air. This is your number six. How did it run on the test when you put some cans in it? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. It's quite anxious to see that number six. Had a lot of little problems with it. <laughs> Getting it all squared away. I hope in the not too distant future that won't be any need for people that hold jobs like I got. You may say I'm just working myself out of a job. I don't look at it that way. Really. I look at it as a, something that needs to be done, and it has to be done now. You see? My children may be surprised to know they were born in a very, very beautiful valley. And we're just hoping that the air will get clean enough someday they'll be able to see it. Don't hurt no more? I'm not depressed over the whole thing. It's gonna take determination. We're getting there. <laughs>